Hey Fab Girls! Today in studio with me is my friend Ashley <laughs> and I'm using her as my modal to demonstrate how you can look absolutely stylish on a budget. Yes! <laughs> So welcome ladies, if you're new to my channel, I'm Tracy Gold and it's my absolute passion to bring you fashion tips that make you look and feel fabulous. And if you're coming back, welcome to, it's so wonderful to have you part of the Fab Gal community. Ladies, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button in the corner of the screen because that will make sure that you know when I upload new videos on Tuesdays and Fridays. And you do want no more content, right? Tips, right. Yes. fashion tips for women <laughs> over 40. If you don't want it, it's okay. But I'm sure you do, so hit that subscribe button. So Ashley, tell us what is your biggest style challenge? My biggest style challenge is most definitely style on a budget. Ooh. A very tiny budget. A very tiny budget. Okay. <laughs> yes. So now tell me, how do you normally shop? Like where mm -hmm. do you shop? What mm -hmm. do you buy on a tiny budget? Okay, so I typically will try again to keep it very simple. So uh, something that I can wear without people knowing I'm wearing it again. So obviously lots of black. I may wear um, several different kinds of New jeans. York. <laughs> it is. That's very true to New York. So black, gray, white, um, basics is what I like to do. And then okay. dress them up with earrings or shoes. Okay. So you tend to accessorize and yes. that being your way yes. of bringing in your personal style. Yes. And I've definitely noticed that about you. Like, And even the way you do your hair. Yes. So some days I see your hair is on top of your head. Yes. Other days it's curly. Other days it's straight. straight. Uh -huh. And always somehow because... I, I think also because your hair is such a, a focal point and such a yeah. beauty. Thank you. So I noticed that a lot. Yeah. So that inspires me because I tend to do my hair kind of the same all the time. Yeah. So I'm, I'm a little inspired. Just one little quick question. Go How for it. How do you handle the weight on your head? Because my hair Ugh. is so heavy. And yep. It it's head. the same. For, it does me too. So um, so I is. have my stylist um, do some thinning. Okay. So that's what's great. You have to go to the right one though, because if they thin it wrong, you're you're in dangerous territory. I've if you're a wavy, thick-haired girl, me too. But Ooh. my girl now, she does it and it thins it out a little bit. So okay. yeah. But I still get headaches. Like it's just uh, it's yeah, just gonna, gonna happen. Say, one I bun at the end of the day, everything aches. I have a headache and it's tight in that one little spot. <laughs> okay, so I have a little trick for that. So those, tell us, those tell us. ladies who have got a lot of hair, because one of my viewers was actually asking me, she said, oh, because I do a lot of um, videos on how to dress when you're short. Clearly not your challenge. No. And um, one of them said, oh, but just wear your hair up. I'm like, yes, I love that, but it gives me a headache. It hurts, right. It is painful because yes. there's just so much of it. Yes. And this is it thinned out. Yeah. So I also have mine thinned out. But I learned a trick. So you can actually put it in a two ponytail. Bam. I know. So you do like this. Okay. Okay. You take up this part of your hair, which is actually a very heavy part. Yes. You can do this part. Yep. In a high pony. Okay. Okay. Then you take this part. I'll hold it for you. And you put it in a pony as well. Love it. And when those two are together, it makes your hair look longer. I love that. And it halves the weight. This is like a Pinterest hack. Thank you. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Just still keeping that up there is yes. very hard. Anyway. Yes, it is. Okay, so now we're going to talk about your style. Now, one yes. of the things, Ashley, you said to me as well, which I was actually very thrilled about, is that you're very aware. You're a conscious shopper. Yes. So speak to me a little bit about that. Yes. So I would say this was back in 2011. Mm -hmm. and I read a great book about ethical fashion and so making sure that the pipelines of how fashion is created are free of slave labor and are free of um, poor working conditions for people are yes. free of child labor and yes. so that over the years has become very important to me I spent one year where I didn't buy anything the entire year Wow. I, I bought no clothes I bought no new shoes no bras wow. no nothing for a whole year wow. just to see if I could do it and then also train myself to have um, less impulse buying, to just grab things when I wanted them, to just sort of meet a need that way. And that really changed everything. So now I do my best to shop ethically. Okay. Yeah. So one of the easy ways, and let's just say this, and I mean, we've spoken about yep. this because we spoke before, one of the really easy ways to shop on a budget mm -hmm. and one of the most ethical ways to do it is to thrift. Thrifting is the best. I love thrifting. I love it too. I, you know, <laughs> and I have found things that are, that almost just have the tags on them. They yes. look like they've never been totally. worn. So even for those of you who get that ick factor, mm -hmm. you know, like, mm, I don't want to wear something that somebody else has worn. 
I don't Dry personally green. have that. Me neither. But I have found some things that look like they've never been worn. And they are. I mean, mm-hmm. how many times, girls, have you bought something and never worn it mm-hmm. and given it away? Yep. So, you know, that way you stop the cycle. And that way mm-hmm. I don't need to test, tech, you know, do all the research on a brand to see whether it's ethical. Because yeah. it's already there. That's right. Another way that is really easy to shop ethically and on a budget mm. is to use is to go to discount stores right and there are always discount stores yes. in every city i mean i know yes. we have some great ones in new york but you have them in every city and the cool thing about those mm. are is that they are buying leftover stock right that if they don't sell they're going into landfill yep exactly so that way you're buying discounted stuff yes. often i mean let me say, I've seen some designer label stuff at ridiculous prices, mm. like really cheap prices. And then you're contributing to no landfill yeah. and you're not continuing that cycle yes. of fast fashion. Yes. So then the other tip, Ashley, and I mean, we'll talk about this in a practical point of view, but the other thing is then, like you said, is to have less, yes. but have more wearability. Yes. Just to find a system that really works yep. for you. Now, I know you say you don't like color, but I just mm-hmm. want to challenge you a little bit I'll on take that it. one. Because my, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> my, as my viewers know, I am a huge fan of color. And mm. the reason being is because as we get older, so maybe not now, mm. and also because your hair is such a beautiful color, so it brings that color close to your face straight away. Mm. But as you get older, you're going to find you have less color in your hair, less right. color in your in skin. Your face, yes. And good color close to your face can be very impactful. Mm. Also, the thing is, like, I have less clothes than I've ever had before because I've moved to New York. But I don't mind when people see me in something that I've worn before. Because me neither, ever. I've chosen pieces that are really signature pieces for me. Yeah. And you can do the same with a color. Mm-hmm. So I wear, you know. As red. you can tell, red is my favorite <laughs> color. I love it. And people know me for it. In yeah. fact, they're surprised when I don't wear it. Aww. So that way, it doesn't really matter that they've seen me in this top before mm. because it's my it's signature your thing, right? color. Right. Yes. Great. So I'm going to show you just two things. I'm going to show you two tops that you could wear that you could just, you know, kind of mix up your look and change it a little bit, bring in a little bit of color, bring in a little bit of style. Mm. And it may not be perfectly you, but you can translate this in a way that yeah. makes sense to you. Awesome. Okay. I'm ready. So here I've put a top on Ashley that has a little bit of color, but it's not OTT color, right? right? <laughs> so it's got quite a lot of black, a little bit of gray, mm-hmm. but then the burgundy, and of course my favorite color, a little bit of red. <laughs> but it's good for your skin tone. It mm. really works well. And I think it's I think it's quite fun. And you could wear this often. You could also dress it up and dress it down. Mm-hmm. Actually, what I love is that you're wearing a polo neck or a tur- What do you guys call it? Turtleneck. Yep. Turtleneck. Mm-hmm. Do they call it polo turtleneck? neck? Polo neck is what we call it. Look at that. Who knew? I know. I know. <laughs> like if we're in the po- we're polar bears or something. <laughs> polo neck. Turtleneck. Now, this is great for women who are tall. I'm just going to mm-hmm. give a little tip. Often women struggle with the length of tops. Do you struggle with that? Of course. That All is the a time. real problem. Right? Oh, it's a real problem. Yes. And often do you go... Because I don't want to wear a belly shirt. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, no, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Me neither. Me neither. Although I did belly dancing and in that circumstance... Oh, yes. necessary. <laughs> then it's necessary, but but not for every day, right? Right. <laughs> okay, so, so often women struggle with that. And then uh, what I hear them saying, and maybe you can relate to this, is that they then get bigger ones to try and get the length on. Right. Okay. Yes. So instead of doing that, rather... Break it up. So, Ashley, you've got. I want you to untuck your your black top underneath, and now you can see. I mean, this top is long enough for you, but if yeah. you felt that you were just a little nervous, you're going to lift up and it's going to show your tummy. Mm-hmm. A, you can tuck it in like you did, mm-hmm. which is a great way to do it, ladies. Or you can let it out and look at how that breaks up the 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 length of her torso. Not that there's anything wrong with having such a beauty. I, mean, I would love to be as tall as you are. I mean, I think it's gorgeous. Also, the three-quarter sleeves. You see, you can have this. This is a great way of doing it. And ladies, if you have sleeves that are too short for you, just take them chop to the and tall ladies all the time. Chop them. Great. Yes, go into three-quarter length or something like that. Mm-hmm. And then also, there's a little bit of the the detail shoulder. So if you can just face the camera, this is a little cheeky because. I like your cheeky look, Ashley. You've got a bit of a cheeky, you know, she wears you. boots with studs on them. Mm-hmm. And like, you've got this little bit of a like funky vibe going. So here's this like cut out shoulder thing. And then also when spring comes, because it's spring, but it's cold out. Yes. But you could just then lose the turtleneck mm-hmm. underneath. If you still need the extra length, put a cami on underneath mm-hmm. and that will work perfectly. There you go. And it's a simple piece that you could wear with a skirt. If you wear skirts, yep. you can wear with black pants. You could dress it up to go out in the evening. You could wear it with a funky pair of jeans. You could wear it. You could wear it with 
whole bunch of stuff. So you see, ladies, you don't need a lot of clothes mm -hmm. to look really stylish. Okay, so now this piece I really love on <laughs> you because it's gray, so you like the neutrals. Mm -hmm. And listen, it's all about creating a look that speaks of who you are. Mm -hmm. It's not about making you something that you're not. So right. if I put you in this bold, crazy color, I mean, I first put you in something and you were like, oh, no, Tracy, no, 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 it's Carl, it's bold, I can't wear it, no, no, no. So, and that's fine because it's not about you being me. Right. And it's not about you pleasing me, it's about right. you looking and feeling fabulous right. and being who you are. Now, what I like about this is that there's the silver and mm. then these little gold pieces. And this is really amazing because it's got that silver gold, the warm, cool effect really works well also the studs are a little bit rock shaped. yes you didn't know what rock i totally was. i was like what is that <laughs> <laughs> so rock shake i love rock shake look rock shake is kind of when you have like the studded boots which i love and the leather jacket but then yes. something feminine you know mixing that feminine yes. and and strong and strong mm -hmm. which speaks of who you yes, are which very is much great. so <laughs> so actually what i like about this is that also you could wear this like it is now because it's cold out with your turtleneck mm -hmm. underneath it um and also you can layer your sleeves like this and then when it gets warmer you can lose the turtleneck mm -hmm. and that's really cool that way it gives you a lot more wearability for a longer period of time mm -hmm. so ladies rather instead you know sometimes we work actually maybe you can relate to this we kind of go well i have this much this month right Do right you tend to have i have this much for this sure month? Okay. yes so rather if there's a piece that you really yeah. love that fits you well that speaks of your personal style rather save up your few months yeah. and buy either in the beginning of the season when the mm. best stuff comes out or the end of the season when the sales Sale are Sales central, on. yes. Because the sales <laughs> are amazing. Right. I walked past the other day a discount store that was 85% off. A discount store that was 85% off. Wow. I was like, oh, my hat. <laughs> really, that is incredible. So you can get really good buys. You don't have to spend a lot of money, ladies, to look stylish. I've always said that. Mm -hmm. You do not have to spend a lot of money. You just have to know what you're buying and curate it carefully. So what do you think, Ash? Well, I like it. And the, the one thing that I love that I already shared with you that's mm -hmm. challenging for me is the cinching the waist idea. Yes. Um, but it's good. It's a great challenge for me to think about that, doing yes. that, changing up the way I frame my body, the way that I yes. think about clothes and style. Because I just it's not my go-to. It's not something yes. I would naturally pick out, something yes. that cinches the waist, but it's something yes. I can try. So I like that. Well, I think it looks really good on you because you see, if if you just face the camera here, you can see that here by defining her waist, you see the natural balance between your shoulders yeah. and your hips. Yeah. And it actually, I mean, not that you need to look slimmer because you're gorgeous and you have you have an amazing body shape, but it does give you more definition. It yeah. makes you look slimmer instantly. Yeah. Often these big baggy tops right. can make us look bigger than we are. Yeah. And do you want to look bigger than you are? Ash? No. Exactly. Not particularly. I don't want to look bigger than I am. <laughs> so so I think that's that's what cinching the waist does. Mm. But if you have some of those baggy things, you can do a half tuck. Mm -hmm. So you can Which put I love doing. Yes. The half tuck, you can put mm -hmm. one in there or you can put it in your pants mm -hmm. here. And high-waisted jeans and pants are yes. back in fashion now. Thank so, God, because I've had two babies. So yes! I'm all about that life. I know. The high-waisted pants are I love them. amazing. I love them. Incredible. <laughs> yes. So that way you can actually just put, you know, you can you can tuck yes. a little bit in and you can get a bit of waist definition. It's so great. So yeah. cool. Thanks so much, Ashley. You've been amazing. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Yes. <laughs> Thanks, ladies. I hope you have found this really, really useful. Ashley, you've been an amazing sport. Thank you so much. And let us know in the comments, what did you think of the outfits that we put together? Do you think you could utilize these tips in your own closet? And ladies, do you think it is possible for you to dress in a stylish way on a budget? I'm sure you can, but I'd love to hear your tips in the comments below. Till next week. Bye.